right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it as always. So today, continuing on, went ahead and finished up these five lights right here. So that one right there. Um, two, three, four, and five over there. Finished up wiring those five lights. Uh, had to pull wire through this um, flex right here. LMFC and then over here there is two LRs or whatever you want to call it um, so I had to pull through that and that um, so that was really dumb uh, just the way that they piped it whoever did this but anyways it's all good so anyways got all the wire pulled except for going into the gear because it's hot and we're not gonna work it hot because I think it's 480 so don't want to risk that so they're going to shut it down eventually when we go to turn this on uh, but anyways as you can see here um, got all the covers installed right here and all the wire pulled so all these lights all these lights are ready to go now so these last five that we had here yesterday um, and like i said the wire is sitting over here i'll show you that really quickly um, that's about so we got the wire sitting out right there um, and I just have to pull it through into the gear through the last pipe all right guys sorry for the extremely heavy wind um, we went ahead and put on all the covers for the back side of these as well um, as you can see um, right there and then also made up the three junction boxes um, the one over there that I just showed you um, and then these ones down here um, this junction box right there um, for circuit 6 and circuit 7 and then this one over here we still have to pull the other circuits um, which is why that cover is still off but we went ahead and made up circuit 6 and 7 so just so they don't get confused later on down the road when we pull the other circuits which I think was eight and nine um, so we'll have to pull those through the second pipe there uh, eventually but we just went ahead and made up six and seven right now just so nothing gets mixed up or confused um, and then went ahead uh, and I'll show you the rest of what we did today um, so once we finish pulling the wire um, and putting the covers back on and making up the lights we went ahead over here and started back on it again um, went ahead and put in five more lights so yesterday we ended off I think it was right at this light right here we went ahead and put in these five more lights right here at the end of the day um, and then we are gonna have to fix some of this pipe whoever did this it's not their fault but uh, if you look at the back side of this you can't really see it from here but the rigid pipe um, it really droops in waves, so we have to put in some expansion joints um, to keep that from happening because they've already come back and fixed. Someone's already come back and fixed it two or three times and it still looks like, uh, I don't even know what you would call that, the spaghetti. Um, so anyways, we went ahead and left these out for now. All the flexes that have to go into um, the... Uh, conduit bodies um, so I have to tie those in later but um, I think we're going to wait to install these just until we get the expansion joints um, and all that stuff so we can't pull any more wire until we fix the expansion joints um, but I think tomorrow we're just gonna focus on hanging more lights all day um, until we get this circuit done I'm assuming we're probably going to do circuit eight or no it's circuit seven we're gonna finish circuit seven and then once we mount all the circuit seven i think there's 18 or 19 like i said so once we hang all those uh lights then we'll pull the wire um but before we pull the wire we like i said have to do the expansion joints so um just moving right along the wire pulling takes a lot longer than i thought but everything's going good so far Nice beautiful day out, not a single cloud in the sky today. Oh, I lied. 
Um, so one more cloud in the sky, literally one. Yesterday there was like 10, but now there is literally one. And that is the moon, that's not a cloud, uh, in case you're wondering. Um, so anyways, that's gonna do it, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by, I appreciate it. Thanks for following along on the progress. Uh, like I said, there's 62 lights and we are now up to 23 lights and 18 of those are wired and complete. Um, yep, just moving right along. So we'll try to get about another 10 or 12 tomorrow if that's all we do is hang lights, which is probably what we'll do. Um, so we went ahead and hung these five lights or mounted the five mounting plates and then just put the bollards on the five bollards. It didn't wire them up or anything because um, they're not done yet and we haven't pulled wire but uh, we can't leave these exposed at the end of the night we have to put the lights on just so they're not, it's not a tripping hazard with the mounting plates or anything like that anyways i think i already said this before but thanks for watching thanks for tuning in as always if you enjoyed make sure to hit the like button and subscribe i would appreciate it um check the description for anything else and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload or do live streams Thanks guys so much. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. All right. If any of you guys follow me on Instagram yesterday, you know, I got a little bit of a sunburn on my neck. So today I took my keychain. Um, I took my keychain off. I took the keys off of my keychain and I went ahead and clipped it around my neck right here. So basically I didn't have a safety pin or anything like that. So I took my carabiner uh, keychain clip and I just clipped it right here, bringing up my shirt to avoid more sunburn on my neck and it seemed to work out really well so I'll probably do that again tomorrow to prevent sunburn just because I have a little spot on my neck where um, where my shirt rides a little bit lower than my tan line so that's where I got burned yesterday just a little crescent moon shape um, but anyways I'm going to continue that tomorrow so life hack if you don't want to get sunburn carabiner or a safety pin or come up with some way to tie your shirt so it doesn't um, expose your neck and uh, enjoy.